Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to start and set up a live stream on your YouTube channel from your phone. And by the way, just a note here, YouTube just announced as of recording this video that they're rolling out the feature to actually stream vertical video. So your live stream could show up in the shorts feed as people are scrolling through their shorts. There's gonna be kind of a different section for streams that way as well. And this will work for that also. So here we are on my phone. I'm going to open up the YouTube app. Uh, once you're on the YouTube app, make sure that you are logged into your YouTube channel and you will see the addition symbol there in the center at the very bottom of your screen. Go ahead and tap on that little addition symbol. It will then give you the option to either create a short, upload a video, go live or create a post. We obviously want to tap on go live. Once we tap on go live, you'll see that my phone uh, is pointing at me. So I have kind of that, the, the kind of the front facing camera. If I go down here, you can see it's pointing at me. If we wanted to, we could change the perspective by just tapping on the little arrows, the circular arrows there on the upper right hand corner of the screen. And that's going to be uh, the actual camera facing forward, right? So that's how you change the way the camera is facing. Next, we're gonna see uh, the channel name there. Make sure you are logged into the correct YouTube channel. And then it's going to give you an option to title your live stream. Uh, by default, it is just the channel name is going live. And then you can just backspace on your mobile keyboard and you can just basically type in whatever you want for your title. Next is going to be visibility. Uh, this is exactly the same as it would be if you were uploading a video to your YouTube channel. You can just tap on visibility and you can change it from either public members only if you have a, a premium membership for your channel or unlisted. Only people with the link can view your live stream. So make it public if that's what you want to do. And the next thing is the audience, which is required. Is it or is it not made for kids? If you tap into that, you have like you would if you're uploading a video, you can choose yes or no, it's not made for kids. Go back now once you've made your selection. And then a new thing that YouTube has is you can invite guests to go live together. If you check that and it's over to the right, that will enable that and you can actually send them the link on the next step here uh, and they can join you in your live stream and it's very easy to set up and it's very seamless and it just works. Next is your description. If we tap into description here, this is going to be what your description has as kind of like the upload defaults. But if you wanted to, you can go here in your description and scroll up and just basically you would start typing like you would normally. So if I wanted to go here, I could start typing whatever I want as my description. Once you have your description the way that you want it, go ahead and go back. Any changes you make once you tap into a selection will be saved automatically. Next, we can change our location uh, and then we can also schedule for later. So if I go here and tap the schedule for later, you can see now that the stream, if I tap into it, can be selected to be scheduled for a future date. So let's say I wanna schedule it for tomorrow, Saturday, August 5th. I'll select that date, tap OK, and then I'll even have the option to choose a time at which I want the stream to start. So we'll start the stream at say 6 p.m. and then tap OK. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is the advanced settings. So tap into the advanced settings there. And under advanced settings, you'll have the option to either allow or disallow chat by checking the box to the right. And you can also enable monetization if you qualify for that by just tapping that check mark to the right there next to enable monetization. And then, and then if the video or stream is going to include a paid promotion, uh, you would need to check that box there uh, if that's the case. So we're going to disable all of these and I'm going to allow chat and then just tap the back button there and you're good to go. Once you have put in all of your settings here, you want to tap next. The next thing is going to allow you to create a thumbnail. It's going to give you a three, two, one countdown and then boom, snap a pick. And that's going to be the actual thumbnail. If you need to go back and edit that, you can always tap on that pencil icon there and go to retake thumbnail. It'll start the countdown over and it'll then retake your thumbnail image. If you need the tag products, you can do that by tapping on tag products. If there are going to be products in your store or merch store that you want to tag. And then when you're ready to go, you can either tap the blue done button or the go live option there. Now, once you've set all of this up, there is an arrow in the right hand corner. If we tap on that arrow, it gives us the actual link where we can copy the link and send it to people for the live stream. Uh, you see where it says zero waiting. Once people get in the waiting room for this stream, it'll show up there. 
right? We've scheduled this. We can tap done, and as you can see, we're good to go. Now, when we go back here to our live page here, we can see there is now a red one up there on our calendar icon. If we tap on that, it'll now show us right there, that's the stream that's coming up. So if we tap on that, it'll show you that stream and you're good to go. And if you just wanna go live and you're not scheduling it, you just tap on go live, and then it'll process it and boom, you're live. You'll see a red you know, live button there and that means that you are live and good to go. When you're ready to end the stream, you tap the X there. It says, are you sure you want to stop streaming? Go to end and it will automatically end your live stream. So that's it. That is how you live stream from your mobile device on YouTube, very easy. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video.